on BBC One as Riz Latif hosts BBC London's Amir for London. It's London's top job. Joining me, candidates from the four largest parties, each hoping to be the one to lead this city. They're all promising to improve the lives of Londoners. So how can they? And will anyone here convince you they can deliver what Londoners really need? London. 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 The city I love. We've been electing a new mayor every four years since 2000. But last year's elections were postponed because of Covid. The mayor is meant to be working for you. And me. With a budget of £19 billion. It's money to be spent on improving. Crime on the streets. Our transport system. Housing. To promote the city's vibrant economy. Protect our environment. And to invest in our youth. We need a mayor the speaks for us. In times of crisis. And celebration. We need a mayor that will fight. Against inequality. Social injustices. For businesses, no matter our size. To make this city the best it can be. Is that you? 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 Hello and a very warm well welcome to the programme. You just heard from our panel of undecided Londoners. With me to answer some of their questions, mayoral candidates from the four largest parties, Labour's Sadiq Khan, Conservative candidate Sean Bailey, from the Green Party, Sean Berry, and for the Liberal Democrats, Louisa Porritt. And feel free, of course, to get involved on social media using the hashtag BBC London. A lot to get through, so let's go straight to our first question from Christian Douglas, who runs a youth mentoring project in Croydon. Chris, what do you want to know? Well, I'm a youth worker with unique talent. I want to know, I've seen knife crime become out of control and children die on our streets. What are you going to do to overcome knife crime in London? OK, Sean Bailey, what do you say to Chris? I think what I'd say, Chris, is thank you for the question. And firstly, that's one of the biggest areas that Londoners have been failed in. We've had a 60% rise in knife crime. And I remember one of the first acts that Sadiq Khan did as mayor was to take £38 million out of the police staffing budget, which meant we'd have a record low number of police officers on the street. And we've seen now what that's led to. I think the other thing as well is to make sure that we give young people somewhere to be. So I'm going to start by opening 32 youth zones across London and recruiting 4,000 new youth workers as well. And because I want people to understand there's three ends. We get the youth safe, we get them in positive places, but also we get the policing right as well. So we're getting 8,000 extra police officers onto the streets and most importantly, getting them to patrol, make sure they don't over-police, but they make London safe. It's important that we boost confidence in the police because that's the only way that the streets of London will be safe. And are those extra officers that you talk about, is that including the around 5,000 that the Met would get anyway uh, as their share of the government's nationwide pledge? Yes, and we topped them up with 3,000. The problem we've had in City Hall is we spent money on press officers, we spent money on, on bicycle ballet, but we haven't spent money on Londoners' safety. OK, to Sadiq Khan. Well, Chris, what you've heard is a glib response to a really serious uh, issue. Both as an MP and as a mayor, I meet bereaved families who suffer the consequences of the serious youth violence you've talked about that started going up in 2013. And the reason why serious youth violence and violent crime has gone up is because of the cuts. Cuts have consequences. Over the last 10, 11 years, we've seen cuts in police, cuts in youth services. Charlotte did an excellent report uh, as an assembly member, which documented all the youth clubs closed down over the last 11 years, all the youth workers lost their jobs, and all, all the young people without uh, constructive things to do. So what I've done over the last five years, Chris, and I'm going to build on this, is invest, yes, in police, more than 1,000 extra police officers since I became mayor, but also in giving young people constructive things to do. So we've already invested. £70 million in a Young Londoners Fund, more than 300 youth clubs given the funding, more than 110,000 young people given constructive things to do. That's a start. We've got to build on that. So in my second term, and my mantra is jobs, jobs, jobs. Every young person to have a mentor and a good quality youth club near them. We need more coaches, more mentors, more role models. Chris, I'm sure you're one in Croydon. I've seen the good work taking place in Croydon. I'm going to build on that should I be re-elected. Sadiq Khan, overall knife crime did go up under your watch. That's not true. So, so knife crime began rising in 2013. In the last five years, youth violence has gone down, knife crime under 25 has gone down, 
burglary's gone down, moped and urban crime's gone down, gun crime's gone down, homicide's gone, gone down. I'm not complacent. One breed family is one breed family, too many. These are people we're talking about. I want to give young people the skills, the aspiration and the hope to have those potentials fulfilled. OK, let me ask uh, Chris, what do you make of uh, what you've heard so far? It's fantastic and it's encouraging, but many charities face inconsistent funding, cuts, which means young people get inconsistent services. And in many cases, they get mentors dipping in and dipping out of their life. That is not good enough. If we're going to have these services, they have to be consistent. How will you ensure that? Okay. Chris, can I tell you what Chris raised a really point? Chris, what I've done is, you're right. So I've been given three-year contracts to these youth services because we can't have this temporary ad hoc funding. Who'd want a job that could be lost in six months' time? Okay, so that's why we're giving three-year guaranteed Barry. funding. Sean Barry. I think uh, what Sadiq Khan said just then was a good example of the constructive way the Greens have worked on the London Assembly. It was the work that I've done four or five years since being elected as a result of listening to young people who were saying their youth services were disappearing. Sean talked about 32 new youth centres. The cuts to youth centres, we've lost more than 100 under austerity. And I will talk about austerity because I'm from the party that was calling out austerity as a mistake from the start, that said that this would cause real harm. In 2015, my party stood alone when all three of these other parties were saying the cuts should continue. We want to invest in transforming London into somewhere that's genuinely healthy as a society, somewhere where young people can genuinely thrive and where we're investing in a, a society where violence can't thrive. This is a very important principle here. You can't just enforce your way out of violence. You have to build a healthier society and transform the city. That's what Greens are all about. And Sharon Barry, just very briefly, you said you're also the party that uh, would like to see zero murders. I think we'd all like to 